Laker point guard Dennis Schroeder is playing for his NBA career, or at least his last shot at a long-term NBA contract. After bouncing around on three different teams the last two seasons, he's now in his second stint with the Los Angeles Lakers. And after a semi-successful regular season, they're now heading to the playoffs after beating the Minnesota Timberwolves in the play-in tournament. However, his first run with the Lakers didn't end as he had hoped, and he even rejected an $84 million four-year deal. Luckily, that's now water under the bridge, and in this video, we'll take a closer look at Dennis's season with the Lakers, whether he'll get an extension, and also why he may be the Lakers' best backcourt fit with LeBron James. But first, let's take a trip down memory lane. Dennis was born in Braunschweig, Germany to a German father and a Gambian mother. He was actually heavily involved in skateboarding until the age of 11, when he discovered basketball and never looked back. As he got older, Schroeder began to make a name for himself in the German basketball circuit, impressing scouts and coaches with his quickness, agility, and scoring ability. In 2010, he embarked on his professional basketball journey with SG Braunschweig, an affiliate of Phantoms Braunschweig. After a few seasons on both teams, Dennis experienced his first major breakthrough during the 2012-13 season. Averaging 12 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds per game in 25 minutes, the 19-year-old was awarded the league's most improved player and best young German player titles. Subsequently, he entered the 2013 NBA draft. The Atlanta Hawks selected Schroeder 17th overall, and he quickly proved his worth in the NBA. As a reliable backup guard, he averaged over 10 points and 6 assists per game in his initial three seasons in Atlanta. In October 2016, Dennis agreed to a four-year $70 million contract extension with the Hawks, and in his fourth and fifth seasons, he became a starter, averaging nearly 20 points per game. However, in July 2018, Schroeder was traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder as part of a three-team transaction. In Oklahoma, he played as the sixth man, following the lead of point guard superstar Russell Westbrook. Dennis topped the league in bench scoring with 19 points per game and achieved career highs in both field goal percentage and three-point percentage. Despite his great season coming off the bench, it wasn't enough to win the Sixth Man of the Year award, and Dennis came in second after Montrez Harrell of the Los Angeles Clippers. In November 2020, Schroeder was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, where he finally earned his starting position. He quickly became a valuable team member, and in March 2021, he declined the Lakers' four-year, $84 million contract extension offer, aiming for a larger deal as a free agent. However, this decision would later prove costly. Schroeder started 61 regular season games, averaging 15 points and 6 assists per game. His playoff stats decreased to 14 points and 3 assists, and the Lakers were eliminated by the Suns in the first round. In the following summer, the Lakers traded for Russell Westbrook, indicating a parting with Schroeder. In August, Dennis signed a one-year $5.9 million contract with the Boston Celtics. The Celtics, having traded starting point guard Kemba Walker earlier in the offseason, sought backcourt depth and found Schroeder to be a cost-effective solution. He played 49 games, including 25 as a starter, averaging 14 points and 4 assists before being traded to the Atlanta Hawks midseason. However, on March 29th, a shoulder injury sidelined Dennis for the rest of the season, making him a free agent. On September 16th, 2022, Schroeder signed a one-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers, choosing them over the Toronto Raptors and the Phoenix Suns, citing unfinished business in Los Angeles. Despite agreeing to a one-year $2.6 million contract, Schroeder denied that the Lakers ever offered him a four-year $84 million extension in 2021. He stated, I mean, at the end of the day, there never was a contract. I never rejected anything. That's not true. An insider acquainted with the talks between Schroeder's agent and the Lakers informed ESPN that Schroeder's camp preferred to wait until the offseason to discuss a contract when he became a free agent in February 2021. Schroeder's fortunes with the Lakers shifted from that point. Schroeder even poked fun at the more than $80 million difference between his potential earnings and his current contract, posting a picture of himself on Instagram with his head in his hands, asking followers to comment on how he fumbled the bag. However, Dennis was excited about his second opportunity with the Lakers, emphasizing his great relationship with coach Darvin Ham, who coached him for five years with the Atlanta Hawks. I'm going to make sure everything I can do, I'll bring to the team to win ball games. I mean, coach Darvin knows. He's known me for 10 years now. He knows what I bring. 
and whatever it is, I'm going to do whatever to get a dub and to finish the unfinished business. Schroeder went on to speak about his first stint with the LA team. The whole situation with the Lakers, that was a little weird. That's the reason why I said I'll even play for free here. Just to make it right, just to put everybody in the right direction. Of course, it would be great to sign a big deal and a longer term deal. And that's my goal still. But at the end of the day, we are here now. And I'm going to do everything I can right now just to help my teammates win ball games. The Los Angeles Lakers managed to secure the seventh spot in the Western Conference, which is a notable accomplishment considering their poor start to the season. However, the team managed to turn things around, particularly after the All-Star break, when they became one of the best teams in the NBA in terms of win-loss records. Schroeder averaged 13 points, 2 rebounds, and 5 assists on the season, shooting 41% from the field and 32% from beyond the arc. After starting the season as the Lakers' third option, the German-born point guard has fought his way into the starting lineup, and he's thriving in his role. Schroeder's contribution to the team is without a doubt one of the main reasons why they've been able to turn the season around. His offensive game is the complete package. He deftly orchestrates pick and rolls, dishes out pinpoint passes, sinks shots with ease, drives fearlessly to the hoop, and boasts elite free throw shooting. When Schroeder's in his element, he electrifies the Lakers and creates opportunities for LeBron James to shine. And on this current Lakers roster, it's hard to imagine a better sidekick for LeBron, which could prove invaluable for future contract negotiations with the Lakers. Keep the king happy and you might get that bag. But it's not just offense where Schroeder excels. On the defensive end, he's one of the NBA's most underrated guards. Head coach Darvin Ham relishes deploying Schroeder to hound opponents across the full 90 feet of the court. A tenacious on-ball defender, Schroeder is equally adept off the ball, denying passes and forcing opponents to earn every shot. With a jaw-dropping 6'8 wingspan, it's no wonder the 6'2 Dynamo is a defensive powerhouse. Dennis's rise is even more remarkable considering the competition at the point guard position this season with the Lakers, so every advantage he can secure moving forward will be crucial in the upcoming contract talks. And speaking on securing an advantage, in the Lakers' recent 108-102 win over the Minnesota Timberwolves in the play-in tournament, Schroeder played a pivotal role for the LA team and was praised by both the media and the fans. He scored 21 points, including a crucial tie-breaking three-pointer with 1.4 seconds left in regulation, but the Wolves somehow managed to force overtime thanks to an idiotic involvement from Anthony Davis. Also, Dennis iced two free throws with 8.4 seconds remaining in overtime, helping to secure the Lakers' win and the seventh spot in the Western Conference playoffs. There's no denying that Schroeder is battling for that last shot at a lucrative long-term NBA contract, and his performance in the upcoming playoffs could be the make-or-break factor in whether the Lakers decide to offer him one or not. Now, based on how he's been playing in the second half of the season, I bet there are at least a couple of organizations that would be more than happy to sign him to their roster for more than just a one-year veteran's minimum contract. So as summer rolls in, let's keep our fingers crossed that the skilled point guard lands the deal he's been dreaming of. And while we're on the topic of skilled point guards, Russell Westbrook has finally found a good match with the Los Angeles Clippers. After overcoming some challenging years, he's become a vital player for his new team. As the playoffs approach, Russ is ready to showcase his skills and ball out, and we can't wait to see how it unfolds. I made a video about Westbrook's somewhat surprising resurrection as well as his difficult time with the Lakers. Check it out.